Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we will discuss the recent news about Pakistan's new federal excise duty on airline tickets. This new duty is expected to help the government generate an additional 170 billion rupees in tax revenue and unlock 1.1 billion dollars from the International Monetary Fund. In this video, we will discuss the details of the new duties, which will be affected by it, and how it came about. According to experts, the new duties are applicable to customers who purchase club class, business class, and first class tickets. The rate of the duty levied upon passengers will depend on their respective destination. The government of Pakistan has currently levied four different duty amounts that passengers will have to pay for different destinations. They have utilized the International Air Transport Association's IATA traffic conference areas to delineate between the different duties that are to be paid. Addressing the elephant in the room, experts confirm that the FED in its current iteration is not applicable to customers traveling on economy class fares. To give you a better understanding, Federal excise duty is a federally administered duty levied on goods and services in Pakistan at varying rates. FED can be rendered on goods produced or manufactured in Pakistan, goods imported into Pakistan, goods produced in non-tariff areas and then brought into the tariff area for sale, and services provided or rendered in Pakistan. The scope of the tax on services is limited to the Islamabad capital territory. According to the Constitution, sales tax on services, which replaces federal excise duty FED, must be imposed and collected by the provinces or Islamabad on services provided within their respective territories. However, the measure stirred controversy and was brought to light at the meeting of the Senate Standing Committee on Finance and Revenue on February 16. At the meeting, an expert informed the Finance Division that the Aviation Ministry had expressed concerns about the proposed 20% tax on business and first-class tickets, citing the variability of ticket fares. In response, the expert suggested that a specific amount be set for each destination instead of imposing the tax. Furthermore, they suggested that this would serve as an alternative approach to the proposed tax, which the ministry deemed impractical due to the fluctuating nature of fares. The imposition of a FED on airline tickets is originally part of the original Finance Supplementary Bill 2023 approved by the Cabinet on February 15. The bill ordered that a tax equivalent to 20% of the ticket's fare or 50,000 rupees whichever was higher, be levied on passengers travelling in business class, first class, and club class. One of the standout features of this new duty is the introduction of fair club class as part of the fair categories which will have the FED levied upon them. The most basic definition of club class is that it is a fair category between economy class and first class. Experts explain that different airlines have different terminologies, but club is a general term used. It's clear that these new regulations are going to have a significant impact on the airline industry, but what exactly are they? Unfortunately, we don't have all the details yet, but we do know that the regulations will increase the cost of flying, which could lead to a decrease in passenger numbers. As you may know, the airline industry has been struggling for a while, and recent government regulations have only added to their woes. We spoke to two industry experts to get their thoughts on the matter. One of the experts tells us the sector was already encumbered with a lot of problems, and the government has gone and added to our problems. This will increase the cost of traveling for the passenger, and naturally, this will lead to problems for the sector when there will be fewer passengers choosing to fly. Another expert also expressed his concerns, saying, we will have to just take it. The industry hasn't fully recovered from the dual rates Emirates and Turkish stopping their local selling of tickets, and now this has been implemented. The funny thing is that flights are still full, and you cannot find an empty seat. To conclude, I must add that, the airline industry is facing some tough challenges as a result of recent government regulations. It's clear that the industry will have to adapt and innovate in order to survive. We hope that this video has given you some insight into the impact of these regulations on the airline industry. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.